Steam Shives dumpling are very popular and appreciated in the southeast of China. They are known as Ku Chai Kui in Tetu dialect. Test them if you haven't yet done. You will be conquered. They are easy to make at home. Here are the ingredients for 12 to 14 dumplings. You can find the list and all the recipes on my website cookingwithmorgan.com I prepare the dough. In a mixing bowl, I put 250 grams of rice flour, 100 grams of tapioca starch, 50 grams of glutinous rice flour, half teaspoon of salt. I mix all together. Then I add 500 milliliters of boiling water and one tablespoon of cooking oil. I mix immediately with a spatula. When all the liquid is absorbed by the flour, I begin to knead. The dough is still very hot. I use a spatula to turn the dough. I knead for 5 minutes. I use a little tapioca star to prevent the dough from sticking to my hand. After 5 minutes of kneading, the dough becomes soft and smooth. I put it in a food bag while I prepare the filling. I cut the garlic shives. I put them in a bowl. In a small bowl, I put one stock cube and two tablespoons of cooking oil. I crush the cube. I pour this mixture on the garlic chives. I mix briefly. I have cut some holes in a parchment paper to put in my steam basket. It's important to make these holes, otherwise the dumplings will not cook well. Now I make my dumplings. I take my dough out of the bag. I cut it into trail pieces. If you prefer the dumplings with a thinner skin, you can divide it into 14 pieces. I put the pieces of dough back into the bag to prevent them from drying. I take a piece of dough. I press with my fingers to make a ball shape of about 10 cm of diameter. I put 3 tablespoons of filling. To close the filling inside, I hold the dumpling in my left hand. The thumb of this hand holds the filling inside. My right hand makes force and pinch. After each pinch, my left hand turns slightly the dumpling. Then I return the dumpling and I put it on my work table. I round its form and I put it in the steam basket. I pour a few drops of red coloring in a small bowl. I dip the tip of my chopstick in the coloring and I paint a red dot on each dumpling. It's a symbol of happiness and luck. I steam the dumplings for 20 minutes over high heat. After cooking, I take the dumplings out of the basket and put them on the plate. You can oil the surface of the dumplings with a brush to prevent them from drying. The dumplings are soft and juicy inside. You can also pan fry them in oil to give them a thin crispy texture. For that, 
I pour about 10 centiliters of cooking oil. In a saucepan, heat it over medium heat. When the oil is hot, I put the dumplings. I let them become golden brown for 3 minutes each side. The dumplings are ready. Bon appétit! Thank you for watching and sharing my recipe. Rendez-vous in my next homemade dish video.